striptease's from an empty tank. Target's camera footage sends security guards rushing on nephew as he leaves the register before they lug him to a back room. They mistake him for a thief returning stolen clothes for cash. Never mind the blouse he brought back was his mom's, that she couldn't find the receipt, and the worst she thought would happen was the cashier saying, please come back when you find it. But they're holding him for us to take home. The store closes in 20 minutes, then he'll be cuffed and bounced to a detention center. He tells us this through my wife's cell phone that rang while we were cruising to a dim restaurant where curry and basmati rice fly their fragrant kites. Our tongues tingled thinking of vegetable samosas, pyramids of peas and potatoes and fried dough, drizzled with tamarind chutney and cilantro sauce. But the appetites vanish in the U-turn. We get there to hit the chief of security. What kind of mother gets her son mixed up in her drama? I want to punch this black man, but the badges and guns say it's a bad idea. Our nephew flinches at every heavy eye, thinking they know his type. As if his story wasn't tied to that boy 20 years before, browsing a store aisle, sporting his t-shirt and jeans he bought the week before, the ones security thought he stole before they ripped them off him. I'm sick of the strip tease we're forced to perform when authority smacks us back in line for thinking we're like everyone else. I'm sick of the obsession with dark skin, the desire to see it locked down on scoring endorsements. Our nephew knows at 17 and six feet, he'll always fit the description. That his skin will justify random traffic stops, badges cuffing him, slamming his head into car hoods. That same skin says the incident at Target is them popping his cherry. Mm.